Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. It's nice to have you here. Today I am going to be redoing my skincare routine. About a couple of months ago, I think around February time, I showed you what I do for my nighttime skin routine and up until then things have changed. I'm using different products. I've either reverted back to some old products that I used to use. Um, there's lots of reasons for why I've done all of this. So today, I thought I would take you through my updated skincare routine. I think it's I think it's a pretty good routine overall. So I think this will it'll be worth redoing, and I'll tell you like why I've changed changed certain things, um, certain things that I've added into my routine, what's changed, uh, how my skin has changed by using said products, and generally just having a good time in the bathroom really. So I'm just quickly going to tie up my hair and then grab my scrunchie, grab my headband and we'll begin. Just quickly put my headband on, tie my hair up. Okay, in my last video I remember telling you I was, at the time I was using the salicylic acid cleanser by the Inkylist. I still have some left. I'm not using that anymore. I stopped using that about two months ago. My best friend from who is an, who is American, she I had been looking for like a new cleanser. Um, I just found that the Inkylist one just wasn't doing enough. I was still breaking out terribly on my chin. Uh, I was still getting cystic acne, but the salicylic acid just wasn't doing enough. I think I needed more in a serum form to do anything but I then started digging around the internet and Cassandra Bankson did a video on Panoxyl. Now this little product is so good that I use the I, I now use the acne foaming wash. This little product has been a lifesaver. It is so good particularly for my skin. I mean it is quite drying. My skin is very dry after I use this. It's maximum strength without prescription. It is 10% benzoyl peroxide and it's just so good. I actually have benzoyl peroxide in gel form to put on my skin pillars but yeah this stuff is just amazing and it, it started clearing up a lot of my already problems that I had so I've, I've continued to use it. I'm trying to wean myself off using it every single night. I only wash my face at night and if I happen to use this, I do on top of it use a hydrating cleanser as well. So I'm technically doing the double cleanse method even though I don't really need to. I, unless I'm wearing sunscreen or makeup, I don't really do. I don't really need it because I don't wear makeup every day, nor do I wear makeup ever really. So yeah, I use this and then I use my CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser on top of it. So let's quickly wash my face. I also went to a dermatologist in that time frame that um, between the time frame of when I made my first video and the one I'm making now. And I discovered by the dermatologist that I have, I actually have dry skin. Not oily skin, dry skin. I was told by an esthetician that I have oily skin, but when the dermatologist looked at my skin, she said, Your skin is very dry. And it's probably why. I'm secreting extra oil because my skin is trying to hydrate itself. I still have cystic acne on my chin, but a lot less than what I did have in that video that you saw. I have got one friend that's just on my chin, but he is slowly going away. He actually hasn't come up, which is amazing. And I'll show you how I've been dealing with that. Okay, I'm just quickly going to wash this off. Does anybody else get loads of water on their floor? I don't have the little cuff things that stop water from getting everywhere. I should probably get some, but I don't always wash my face in the sink. Majority of the time I wash my face in the shower. Today is just a special day. <laughs> and now I'm going to take my BHA AHA peeling solution by The, the Ordinary. And I'm just gonna put that on at certain places that I think need a bit of extra peeling or just need a bit of extra help and I normally do this only on my chin quite a lot because that's where I have scarring and all that nasty stuff and I also want to put some on that pimple so it goes away I'm gonna put some on this one and that is all I'm gonna do for the time being I'll probably do um, a full face of the BHA AHA another day now I'm just going to wait 10 minutes for this to do its thing. In the meantime, I'm just going to prepare everything in my 
on my vanity desk and then we'll wash this off and then we'll switch over to there. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm now gonna rinse this off and we'll and then we'll reconvene by my vanity. I leave the excess water running on my face because I'm going to let it soak into my skin with my serums. So let's go. Welcome to my vanity. Now we are going in with we are going in with some hyaluronic acid. I have to admit, I started using the Inculist hyaluronic acid a few months ago and I think I actually prefer the ordinaries. Obviously, it's the same product basically, but I don't know, I just think I much prefer the other one. So I'm trying to just use all this up and go back to my original product products because I just, I don't know, I thought I'd try something different, but I actually prefer The Ordinary, and I actually think The Ordinary just works better on my skin. While I'm waiting for the serum to soak in, we are going in with something a little bit special to me, and something I bought quite a while ago, and I only use it on occasion. And I only use it on occasion. My high frequency machine. I only use this on occasion, and of course mine isn't correctly calibrated as the ones in salons would be but I think it works perfectly fine I like it and I think it has made a difference particularly to the pimples that I get and I can definitely feel this on my skin it feels almost like pins and needles I just hover it over my skin, I don't actually touch my skin, and I can still feel it. And a high frequency machine is supposed to kill bacteria inside of any pimples or in your skin. So this definitely works for me as I get so many. I only do it a few times and then I pack it away. Okay, so the next product I'm going to be using is the, okay, I got this from the dermatologist. I can't pronounce it, so here you go. Did you get that? So yeah, I've been using this. She gave, she recommended this for the scarring on my chan. So I only use this at night, but I don't use it every single day. And then for my final product of the evening is my moisturizer. In my original skincare routine, I was using the, the Inculist Omega Cream, but the Omega Water Cream, but I found that I, I, didn't pop, I feel like it was breaking me out. I didn't change anything um, like hydration wise. I didn't feel that there was a difference. So I decided to go back to my tried and true, which is the Ordinary's hydrating natural natural moisturizing factors and i've been so grateful since i've gone back to it it's just thicker the omega water cream is a bit um on the watery side <laughs> doy and this is just a little bit thicker and i use a lot less like the omega water cream i was constantly reapplying because i just felt like it wasn't doing anything moisturize the ears under my chin Okay, for my neck and my degletage, I always use my, I always apply my retinol. I do sometimes apply this to my face, but today, because I've already done the high frequency machine and I've done, did a little bit of the BHA AHA peeling solution, we're not gonna put a retinol on tonight. And then for an added bonus, for this evening's routine. I take my high frequency machine comb and I comb through my hair. Ooh, that feels all weird. <laughs> I love the feel of it though. And to top it all off, I use my Vaseline on my lips and sometimes as an eye cream. And that is the end of my current, updated, a little bit bougie, nighttime skincare routine. It's just gotten less and less every single time. I don't have a lot of products left. I don't use a hell of a lot of products anymore. Um, I've gone back to a few products. My tried and trues, like the Ordinaries Moisturizer. I will probably go back to the Ordinaries 
niacinamide and their and their hyaluronic acid I just feel like they do a lot more for me than the ink list I mean the ink list is a very good brand but I just prefer the ordinary so I will be returning back to those but anyway I hope you guys have a lovely evening please don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>